If you find you cook regularly, these basic items can support any combination of protein, starch, and vegetable. Lemons and limes. A sprinkle of citrus can brighten any dish, including meat. Garlic. Lovely, lovely garlic. It can be added in the beginning or towards the end of cooking or used raw, depending on how intense you like your garlic. Sliced, diced, roasted, or pureed. Garlic adds depth to any dish. Shallots or onions. Shallots have a sweeter, more refined flavor than onions and less of the characteristic onion flair. Onions come in a variety of flavors and forms from the large round bulbs to long slender stalks. Raw, caramelized, sauteed, roasted, or pureed, onions add non-peppery spice to everything when they're raw and sweet undertones when cooked and roasted. Potatoes. If you really like potatoes, keep the smaller fingerling potatoes around. It's easier to cook only what you need, and they cook faster when you're using the, the smaller types, or slice the larger varieties to cook with quicker than baking an entire potato. Potatoes also come in flavorful varieties from buttery to sweet, so potatoes are anything but boring. Chives or green onions a mild tang to sprinkle over finished dishes. I personally like either of these on eggs, in salads, on sandwiches. I know, these seem like elements that are easy to leave out, like what's the big deal? But I was surprised to find out how much polish these gave to a dish, and I realized I can't do without them. I suspect you'll feel similarly. Bread. There are plenty of reasons to not eat bread, and I choose to bypass those reasons, and I enjoy lots of forms of bread. It has a place in the kitchen for someone who may need some convenient food to support their cooking journey. When choosing bread, look for fresh bread and preferably organic. All wheat in the U.S. is non-GMO if you're interested in avoiding that kind of thing, but it is heavily pesticided if it's not organic. To save money, always have a few slices on hand. Buy fresh bread sliced or slice it yourself and freeze three days worth of bread in small batches. As you need a few slices, thaw them in the fridge or put them directly in the toaster.